Welcome to this Windows 8 video demonstrating consumerization of IT. As part of this video I will be using a machine that is running Windows 8 from a USB disk so demonstrating the whole Windows to go model that's now available. You can see the Windows 8 desktop in front of you and I'm just actually highlighting the Windows 8 experience by switching applications. Key thing to notice you can see the touch experience with the highlighted circle um, where I'm touching the screen. So to enable the consumerization of IT I'm going into the remote desktop icon which is part of Windows 8 and like in the previous videos I'm actually just going to configure this Windows 8 device to communicate with my remote desktop infrastructure. So this video is going to demonstrate the same model we've seen on the Windows Slate uh, using Windows 7 by actually leveraging a virtual desktop infrastructure uh, system running as a pooled machine and have the applications deployed onto that machine based on the user that requests those applications so as per all the other videos Leanne. So we're just uh, finishing off entering the URL needed to uh, connect to the um, uh, remote desktop services infrastructure so because this is using Windows to go all of this type of configuration could actually be pre-done so that effectively when you give the user their USB stick uh, they can literally just plug that into any device they want and they would then be able to uh, ha access the corporate services within your network. Obviously this experience could be exactly the same if for example this was a Windows 8 slate um, or a Windows 8 home machine. So having entered the uh, URL just need to specify the credentials so again as per all the other videos I'm supplying the uh, Leanne Fisher credentials. <coughs> Once the credentials are entered it should hopefully show me that I have um, a resource that I can connect to and again this resource could be pinned to the uh, start screen that we now have in Windows 8 so for subsequent launches I could just actually uh, launch this icon directly or again I could still keep it behind the remote desktop window as we uh, as we have here so just entering the uh, last part of the password and we should hopefully get the resources pulled back so here we can see the virtual desktop infrastructure so the, the pulled virtual machines which are, which are available to pull to me. So I'll launch the virtual machine by selecting the icon. You'll notice that it says that it's going to wake the virtual machine. So again, as per all my previous videos, uh, our virtual infrastructure could be in some form of power saving mode. So virtual machines could be shut down, could be in some form of hibernated state, and then the machines will start. Now I'm going to let this run at natural normal speed. So there's no editing of the video here. So what you will actually notice is the desktop appearing and then within a few seconds we will actually start to see the applications install. So the virtual machine is just finishing off addressing its networking uh, elements. Here we saw the uh, networking icon flash. So now we can see the software being delivered and the software is now installed. Um, again, as exactly the same as with the Windows Slate experience, it's used a virtual application to install GIMP. We can see the GIMP icon on the desktop there, um, and if obviously we uh, click on the icon, it will then go and start the application. So we're hopefully going to start processing the application, streaming the content down, and actually start the application launch, which will take a few seconds for the application to actually fire up. So while we're waiting for the application to launch, we're just going to go into the software center as part of Configuration Manager 2012. And inside the software center again, we can see that you know the GIMP Photoshop has been installed and it's only just been installed a few seconds ago. So actually this is the 31st of May, so we can see basically the 31st of May uh, for the deployment of this application. Again, because it is being deployed and run as a virtual application, if we was to go into control panel and go to the programs and features utility well again we would see that the Microsoft application virtualization clients there but again no GIMP is listed uh, as an application so again the application hasn't actually been physically installed on this machine so hopefully the uh, the GIMP application which does take a little while to load for the first time will finish loading very shortly 
and then we should be able to see the application running and obviously the corresponding user experience. So there's the application and obviously I can start interacting with the application, opening files, accessing applications. So even though for example the GIMP application would work on a Windows 8 machine if you wanted to install it onto that machine natively you could. Um, again this is just showing that if you're going to have users running around with Windows 8 tablets maybe bring your own device so they own the devices themselves you can still give them access to those corporate applications without them being installed on those devices pre preserving data security so they can't take the data away with them but also providing them with a, a good experience and the thing that has been uh, quite surprising for, uh, from, from the testing that I've done is the experience across Windows 8 uh, using touch against Windows 7 devices in a VDI is the experience is very responsive so just completing the process and returned back to the finish screen so thank you very much for this video I hope it's been useful for you